God this morning. Just want to honor the Spirit of God this morning. Glory to God for who He is. This morning, the, oh, glory to God, I just want to pray against, amen, the spirit of stagnation, the spirit of stagnation. Amen. There are many persons, or many of us right now, that is in a place of stagnancy. Amen. Glory to God. We are in a place of stagnancy, whether in the, it is in our marriage, in our ministry, in our job, in our business, amen, in our finances. We are at a place of stagnancy. Amen. And hence, we are in a place of stagnation. This morning, Almighty God, as I come before you this morning, Almighty God, to worship you, to pray, to pray for those in the chosen and profitable ministry, those that are connected to this ministry. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We pray this morning that Holy Spirit, you will, Almighty God, give us revelation, give us insight, give us wisdom, give us understanding. Amen. To better understand stagnation, brothers and sisters, is a state of no progress. Amen. No real movement in the right direction or slow motion or inactivity or a standstill. Many of us this morning, glory to God, amen, whether it be uh, no progress we are experiencing, whether it be no real movement in the right direction whether it's some of us are in a slow motion in a in, many of us are inactive amen many of us are at a standstill the glory to god hallelujah this morning we're going to pray in the name of jesus christ of nazareth that even now at this time oh glory to god as we up at this hour to pray god i pray in the name of jesus christ that the spirit of stagnation be broken broken over chosen and profitable ministry broken over the bishops broken over the pastors broken over the ministers broken over the body of christ broken over chosen and profitable ministry in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth Father, as we come before you this morning, God, as we have confessed our sins to you, God, we confess our shortcomings, we confess, Almighty God, everything. Glory to God that is unlike you this morning. Father, we come in this time, Almighty God, to pray against the spirit of stagnancy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. According to my brothers and sisters, the dictionary definition of being stagnant is it's, it's a state of being dormant. Can I talk to somebody here? And the, the scriptures declare in Psalm 40 and verse 17, it said, Since I am, since I am afflicted and needy, ah Jesus, since I'm afflicted and needy let the lord be mindful of me i decree and declare this morning that the lord will be mindful of you this morning the lord will be mindful of somebody this morning glory to god and you are my help and my deliverer don't delay oh my god oh jesus this morning i pray for somebody oh god somebody who will hear Glory to God, this vice note this morning. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, you're in a state where you're afflicted. You're in a state where you're needy. And glory to God, you're asking God to be mindful. Glory to God. Father, let the Lord be mindful of me. Father, he see where you are. Oh, glory to God. He see where you are stagnant. He see where there is no progress. He see where there is no movement in the right direction. He see where there is a slow motion. He see where there is inactivity. He see where there is a standstill. And Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, you declare in your word that the anointing will break the yoke. And this morning, Almighty God, we break the yoke of stagnancy we break that burden in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth over our marriage over our finances over our jobs over our business over our children over our documents oh glory to god over our house in the name of jesus over our family over our children over our ministry we break that spirit this morning in the mighty name of jesus christ and we ask lord 
just as the psalmist declared lord be mindful of me this morning god i decree and declare as your people listen glory to god to this vice note this morning god they they will understand that you are mindful of them and god they will recognize that you are our only help and you are our only deliverer and god you will don't delay this morning god i stand on your word this morning don't delay almighty god don't delay don't delay god we need a change god we need a turnaround god we need something to turn we need something to change we need something to happen and this morning we pray in the name of jesus christ that every era every era oh god every era of stagnancy every era of stagnation oh god almighty is broken in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you this morning glory to god we thank you god for your goodness for all you have done for us almighty god this year in the mighty name of jesus christ father we thank you father let your anointing fall afresh oh god and empower us almighty god to continue to prevail in prayer in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth god rekindle your precious holy and purifying fire oh god in our life in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth spirit of god hallelujah draw me closer in a new and intimate relationship with you from now forward in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth oh lord revive me and restore me in every era of my life in the mighty name of jesus christ revive my marriage revive my ministry revive my business revive my job revive my finance in the mighty name of jesus christ restore every area oh god of my life in the mighty name of jesus christ god we boldly oh god declare oh god almighty that we shall not die we shall not die but live to fulfill our god-given purpose our god-given talent oh god we live to fulfill our god-given destiny in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth oh god almighty by the power of the holy spirit glory to god we take authority over every financial bondage labor shataya we take authority over every financial bondage deliver oh god jesus deliver deliver us in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth by the power of the blood of jesus uh, glory to god i set somebody free from that bondage this morning i set somebody free from the bondage of failure i set somebody free from the bondage of sickness uh, i set somebody free by from oh god from the bondage of poverty i set somebody free oh god from the bondage of untimely death uh, i set somebody free oh god from the bondage of luck i set somebody free from the oh god the bondage of uh, bondage of failure at the end of success uh, in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth every power trying oh god oh god every power trying me oh god i tie me down in one spot uh, every power that is tying you down in one spot every power that is tying you down in one spot perish now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth every power oh god i bet every word spoken everything that is tying you down in one spot this morning we break it we destroy it in the mighty name of jesus christ every curse word pronounced over your life over your ministry over your marriage over your destiny over your finance we break it now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth every curse working against oh glory to god your prosperity and the fulfillment of your goal be destroyed now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth glory to god we prophesy this morning 
oh god we prophesy this morning just like the wall just like the wall of jericho fell oh god we decree and declare that every barrier of limitation assigned to your people this morning fall and crumble in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth fall and crumble in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth every barriers every barrier every barrier in your marriage every barrier in your job every barrier in the ministry oh god every barrier of limitation against your life against your ministry against your marriage against your oh god finance fall and die in the mighty name of jesus christ every evil object uh, fashion against your life and family be disappointed and be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i decree and declare that any power assigned to obstruct and curse your life oh god almighty we bind and paralyze it in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth by the hammer of god by the hammer of the word of god by the hammer of the word of god every curse operating in my family line break in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth we decree and declare the forces of darkness assigned to tie me and tie us in one spot i command you to pay perish now in the mighty name of jesus christ father god oh glory to god have mercy upon us turn every curse i brought upon myself due to disobedience into blessing oh god in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth every mountain every mountain every mountain on my way to success and victory be removed in the mighty name of jesus christ we stand in your word that declare oh god we can speak to the mountain and say be cast into the midst of the sea and it shall obey us glory to god i destroy by fire i destroy by the fire of god i destroy by the fire of god every limitation the enemy have marked down for your life every mm -hmm, yes every limitation the enemy have marked down for this ministry oh god almighty we break it oh god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we break every self-imposed stagnancy and limitation in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth every spirit uh, a stagnancy i reject you i bind you in the mighty name of jesus christ god you declare that whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever loose on earth shall be loose in heaven i receive god almighty yes god a double portion of your anointing and blessing in exchange for my shame and delay in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth god ever curse that i have that i have brought into my life through disobedience and ignorance or oh, ignorance i break it by fire in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth ever unspoken curse against my life against my family against my education against my marriage against my ministry against my employment against my career against my destiny oh god i met against my business be broken now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i curse oh god i release my life i release my life i release my life i release my life glory to god we release your life declare i release my life from every cycle of failure i release my life from every cycle of disappointment i release my life from every cycle of sickness i release my life from every cycle of frustration i release my life from every cycle of stagnation in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i decree and declare that i am delivered i decree and declare that i am free Free from every chain i decree and declare that i am free from every bondage i decree and declare that i am free from every affliction i decree and declare i am free from every curse i decree and declare i am free from every limitation i decree and declare i am free from every stagnancy i decree and declare i am the free from every failure 
Oh God, I decree and declare I am free from every generational sickness. Oh God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And this morning, Almighty God, we decree and declare that we are free from stagnancy. We are free from stagnation. Oh God Almighty. Oh God, no more will we be Almighty God. Jesus, no more, no more, no more, Almighty God. No more will we see, oh God, no progress. We will have progress no in our life. No more, God Almighty, we'll see no real movement, but we'll see movement now, oh God, in the right direction. No more, Almighty God, we'll move in slow motion. No more, God, we're at a place and in, in, in activity. No more, God, we'll be at a place of standstill. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you, God, that it is broken. Stagnancy is broken. Stagnation is broken. Oh, God Almighty, limitation is broken. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as we thank you, God, for what you are doing and what you are about to do in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me pray. Amen and amen. Blessed and wonderful morning again, my brothers and sisters. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, I'm just up. You know, I just want to, uh, as I am in prayer, I just want to share. Amen with us this morning. Amen. We know we are all experiencing, we are all going through. Amen. Some era of stagnancy stagnation in our lives our limitations our delay amen in our life and i just want to um just speak to us this morning somebody will find courage somebody will find strength hope in the world this morning amen glory to god deuteronomy chapter 2 verses 1 to 5 the bible says then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. And as the Lord spake unto me, and we compassed Mount Snare many days, and the Lord spake unto me, saying, You have compassed this mountain long enough. Ah, Jesus. You have compassed this mountain long enough. Turn you northward. I believe God is speaking to, to not just me this morning, but he's speaking to all of us that will listen to this message this morning. Glory to God. And the Bible says, verse 4, and it said, And he command thou the people, saying, Ye have passed through the course of your brethren, the children of Esau, which dwell in Snare, and they shall be afraid of you. Take ye good heed unto yourself, therefore. But there's a warning that is in verse 5. It said, Meddle not with them, for I will not give of you, give you of their land. No, not so much as a footbreak, not even a piece, because I have given Mount Snare unto Esau for a possession. And I will stop there this morning breaking the assignment of the of, of stagnation breaking that assignment now my brothers and sisters when we look at deuteronomy chapter 22 verses 1 to 5 basically there are four operations of the devil targeting us yes or targeting you three of them are found in Saint, in the scripture, St. John 10.10, 10. yes, that declares to us that this thief comes, yes, the thief comes to, to do what? To steal, to kill, and to destroy. Amen. So, when we look on Deuteronomy chapter 5, basically, my brothers and sisters, there are four operations of the devil targeting us. Three of them are found in the in the verse, in one verse of, of scripture in John 10:10. 10, 10, it said, The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I am come that you might they might have life and they might have life more abundantly. So the enemy come to kill, he come to steal, he come to destroy. And there you have it. 
So you see three things there. You see death, the virgin, and destruction. Yes? And the fourth is delay. Delay. So, you say it delay you. Yes? Delay you. Yes? So most of us are deceived into thinking that delay is meant to be temporary. Yes? But the plan of the enemy is to turn it into stagnation, leading to frustration. And actually, stagnation is an unending delay. Can I talk to somebody here? So I want you to please note that the stagnation doesn't end unless something is done about it. People of God, we have to do something. We have to do something about it. Watch this. Um, the look and Deuteronomy 2 and verse 3, the Bible says that, he have come past this mountain long enough. What mountain are you experiencing? What mountain are you seeing this morning? Ah, Jesus, there are many mountains. Amen. Turn ye not word. Yes, and he was speaking to Israel. And while he was speaking to Israel, he's also speaking to us. Israel had nothing to have something to do to end this stagnation. We have to do something, people of God, to end this thing that we are going through. Amen. I am praying for insight. I'm praying for revelation because I too struggle with this stagnation and I need to make a move. So Israel, under the leadership of Moses, took 40 years to complete a journey that should have taken 14 days. Amen. They were going round and round Mount Sinai repeatedly, a land that didn't belong to them. You see, many of us find ourselves in places that does not belong to us. Yes, and the enemy wants to keep us there because once we are there, we are not able to get into our full potential. But God arise and said something. He said, look, this is not for you. You need to turn. You're going around this thing too long. What is it this morning that God is speaking to you about? Just as he's speaking to me this morning, you're going around it. They were moving, but not towards their destination. They were not making progress. Many of us, we are moving, but we are not really making progress. And the enemy will try to trick us to make it look like we are moving, but we are not making progress. So it's, there's no doubt that you are moving, but the question is, are you making progress? Are you making progress in every area of your life? Yes, am I making progress in every area of my life? And if not, why? What are these forces? What are the forces responsible and most importantly, how are, how are we going to break free and move forward? And this is a question that we have to ask. This is the very question that I'm asking this morning. And I've been asking myself. And these are questions we will try to answer, my brothers and sisters. We look at Israel. Israel, Israel was stagnant. They get stagnated. Amen. Right? And an individual, a family, a tribe, a nation can get stagnated. Yes? A church can get stagnated. A business can get stagnated. Yeah? Right? You have finished school for some time, but now you have no job or anything doing. Look at that. Stagnant. You are not making progress financially. You are stagnant. Yeah? You are stagnated. You have been praying, maybe praying for a husband or a wife for a long time, but nothing is happening so we need now to look into this five pattern of human development or five type of growth so number one is failure to rise non-starters yes failure to rise some of us we are stagnant because we are failed we fail to rise we don't want to start we are not some never take off at all so you may find yourself in three categories Either you fail to rise, you are a non-starter, right? Or you don't plan to take off. When we look at every plane when it goes on the runway, don't it? The next move for it is to take off, don't it? Yeah, we don't want to find ourselves. So stagnancy, yes, right? Stagnancy, they don't seem to be able to cross a particular ceiling. Yes, it put you at a place of plateau. You are stagnant, you know. This, this is common yeah right this is common you find sudden crash from the top some rise 
but spiral downward. Yes, some of us are rising, but instead of we're going up, it's like a shuttle crash, we are headed back down. Usually the activity of spiritual assassin, victim of spiritual and material, yes, financial, social catastrophe. We find ourselves in these things. Yeah? Right? Rise and fall. Some rise and some fall. Yes? Some rise and fall again. Yes? And a, and a regular, an ir irregular interval. Right? Steady progress. We need to have a steady progress. So those who rise steadily, with or without minor um, 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 struggles and all these things, this is the mind of God for us, for us to rise. So what is stagnation? Before we can correctly define stagnation, we have to first define what, what progress, yes, is from God's perspective. What is progress from God's perspective? Progress is moving in time and space towards God, chosen objective and according to God's plan for our life. If we are not advancing towards God's desired objective and according to God's plan, we are not making progress at all. And that's where we find ourselves. Right? We are trying to make progress in our lives, but we are not making that progress towards God. We were created, my brothers and sisters, for maximum impact. We were designed to be sufficient and significant. You are loaded with so much potential that makes it impossible possible for you to be ignored i decree and declare that right now the potential the vision the desire the dreams that you have is going to make it make it impossible for you to be ignored god designed us to be champions and giant killers dominion my brothers and sisters is a part of god's original mandate for us for you you are Oh, glory to God. You are a victor, not a victim. Greatness was wired into your mandate. God created and designed you for greatness, not for mediocre. No, sir. Not for mediocre. No. We are designed to be the head and not the tail. Glory to God. We have no business with failure or littleness. Amen. I decree and declare that those who have business, those who have business and this those who have business those who have job glory to god you will not fail you were designed to be a high achiever you were created to soar high like the eagle with keen seed of vision god designed us for progress my brothers and sisters so what is stagnation right when we look at the um the, the colin english dictionary define the word stagnant yes as not growing or developing, become static, are still sluggish, dull from inaction. So most people are, are pregnant with opportunity. And there are many of us on the line, there are many of you that are listening, listening to me right now. You are pregnant with opportunities. We are pregnant with dreams and possibilities, but some of these, glory to God, are, are shed and aborted on the highway of destiny. Why? The longer it takes for us to get, yes, to get to our promised land, the more these dreams are shed and abort. Satan plan, my brothers and sisters, is to keep you running in circle to wear you out. Yes, run you down with self-doubt until you run out of confidence. And you abandon your dream all by yourself. The devil is a liar. And I want you to declare, shout, no more delay. No more delay. I decree and declare over your life, people of God, over my life, over my family, over my ministry, no more delay. So stagnation doesn't necessarily mean being static. Israel was moving, but around the same mountain in a circle. They were spending time and energy, but without making progress. I decree and declare that you will spend no more time and energy without making progress. There was motion without advancement. Huh? 
there was motion without advancement there was activity without productivity there are many of us have activity people of god but we have no productivity and i declare and declare that you will not only have activity in this season but you will have productivity every moment that does not lead to progress must be investigated and dealt with people of god every moment every movement every movement every move that you'll make this as we are at the end we are coming to the end of june i declare and declare that every movement that you make from now on that does not lead to progress you will stop and investigate it and deal with it most time my brothers and sisters the devil doesn't groan you completely no sir he let you move but around the same spot so many times you think you're saying, oh, it's not the enemy. I'm moving. No, he don't groan you because having grown, you'll pick up. So he make you move around, but in the same spot. There's three steps that lead to progress, my brothers and sisters. Three steps that lead to progress. Number one, a step taken, a step. Glory to God. Three steps that don't lead to to progress. Sorry, three steps that don't lead to progress. Number one, a step taken. In with wrong direction a step taken with wrong direction it does not lead to progress a step taken out of sequence that does not lead to progress and a step taken at the wrong time people of God I want you to get this this morning I don't know why the Lord would have me up as I tell you this word is for me but I'm sharing it with you I'm sharing it with you there are three steps that don't lead to progress a step that is taken a step taken in the wrong direction number one a step taken out of sequence number two and a step taken at the wrong time movement is useless unless it is in the direction of your goal and destiny my brothers and sisters israel was moving but in circle in deuteronomy 2 3 god told the children of israel you have passed this mountain long enough you have come past this mountain long enough my brothers and sisters this morning i am telling you enough is enough you have passed you have come past this mountain long enough it's time to move not word it's time to move not well i don't know who i come to speak to this morning i know that i'm speaking to myself but i'm saying i don't know who this message is for this morning but i come to tell you this morning if you don't get anything get this you have come past this mountain long enough you know your situation you see the mountain whether it be financial marital emotional mental psychological business you have come past that mountain long enough it's time to move not word it's time to move not word, my brothers and sisters it's time to move northward. Hallelujah. It's time to move northward. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's time to move northward. Can I talk to somebody? It's time to move northward, people of God. It's time to move. It's time to move. It's time to move. Songwriter said, when God get ready, we got to move. Five ways to slow down to slow a man down five ways that the enemy tried to slow us down he slows down spiritually with sin put weight on us you are stagnated spiritually when you discover that there are no new revelation in your life my brothers and sisters get this you are stagnant spiritually when you discover there is no new revelation in your life the bible becomes boring and going to church is is no longer exciting prayer becomes an ordeal and you are indifferent to serving in the church you 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 stagnate you are stagnated spiritually when you are watching a movie when you should be at church you're attending a ball game and then the business meeting regularly all these things become attractive around you right but studying the bible studying the word of god is no longer attractive praying is no longer attractive the enemy slow you down and this is some things where the enemy put people in stagnation number two he slow you down emotionally with fear depression and frustration 
make you feel sick from within there are many of us this morning the enemy is the enemy is slowing down uh, is trying to stag, put us in a stagnation so it's not what at one place many of us are stagnant emotionally because the enemy has placed fear depression and frustration and you feel sick inside some of us is slow the enemy tried to slow us down physically also he attack our body with sickness yes number four he slows down socially and financially entangle yes him in really in a relationship mess so you find out there are some things that are going through you know in different relationship not just your marriage but maybe at your job maybe with your family maybe with people he tried to mess up a relationship and he placed obstacles on your path or in your path he put patrol he put speed bumps yes roadblock ditch and trench to stop you yeah look at that in order to just stagnate you to keep you so you are moving around in these areas but at the end of the day what you are moving around but you're still stagnant because you're not moving to progress so the bible said look here you have gone you have surpassed this mountain long enough you have surpassed this mountain long enough it's time to move he tried to slow us down strategically understand the enemy is very strategic so if you really want if 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 you really want to stagnate you he confuse you distract you and change your direction there are many of us that the enemy have, 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 have confused us we are confused we don't know what is happening he distract us he change our direction yes he bent his direction yes on the road a little so if the devil can change your vision my brothers and sisters there's some vision that you have and the enemy wants to change that if the enemy can change your vision he can keep you running around in circle until you get frustrated and quit and that's what the enemy want to do i come this morning declaring every spirit of stagnancy in your life in my life in our life in our ministry be destroyed in the mighty name of jesus christ my brothers and sisters a good example of this is samson he was distracted with women he lost his vision the bible says what the people perish yeah where there is no vision the people perish where there is no vision yes the people perish where there is no vision the first give birth to others example of people who were stagnant stagnated right we look at sarah sarah was stagnated for what 24 plus years because she was barring internal problem rachel was stagnated because she was substituted traditional tradition and ancestral problem yes david was stagnated for 13 years after being appointed by samuel because someone else was occupying the throne he was to sit upon professional rival Every soul standing between you and your throne will give way now in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that every soul standing between you and your throne will give way now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Joseph was stagnated for 13 years because he was hated for his dream by those who was close to him. That is what household enemies two things you need you must know my brothers and sisters your assignment must not be misunderstood by those closest to you your assignment may be misunderstood by those closest to you the completion of your assignment is your enemy greatest fear so understand this when it comes to host all enemies you need to understand two things you need to understand it. your assignment may be misunderstood by those closest to you your pastor may not understand, your bishop may not understand, the members may not understand, the board may not understand. They may misunderstand. But one, one, one thing is important is that the completion of your assignment is your enemy greatest fear. Get that? So Israel stagnated. They were stagnated because they disobeyed God. Spiritual problem. All forces of stagnation are anti-destiny forces yes you are powerful my brothers and sisters an influential weapon against the enemy you are powerful and influential weapon against the enemy
he will assign demonic forces to fragment your fragment your your focus derail your assignment destroy your effectiveness you have the potential to do great damage to satan you will become a special target demons are not assigned equally everywhere they receive assignment according to the amount of danger and threat that satan senses my brothers and sisters god bless you this morning god bless you i trust and hope that this prayer and this word this morning bless your heart it bless my heart as i'm up here studying and praying for the believers praying for the church praying for the body of christ praying for you i trust and hope that you are blessed and i pray that god bless you have a blessed and wonderful morning peace out